Right here I have this little bookshelf on wheels. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you everything that comes inside the box. Here are all the different pieces that came inside the box. It has some really clear instructions on the user manual. You can see it even has some colored pictures, so it's nice and easy to understand. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this so I can show you some of its main features when I'm finished. So I have the base started right here. I like that you don't need any tools to assemble this and this has everything that you're going to need. We have the base, obviously we're gonna add the wheels later. So we have the base started and I'm just gonna go ahead and add these little baskets. And you just push them right into place. Then we have these little connector pieces right here that we're going to put on each of these little loops before adding the next level. That way it can keep everything nice and securely connected. All right, I just got this fully assembled and you can see what this looks like. This is going to hold so many items in this vertical position. You can see that it's double-sided so you can put books and papers and things inside of here. And this is its own pocket on this side and a separate pocket on the identical level on the other side. So this is gonna be so nice and useful. I really liked that I didn't need any tools to be able to install this. I just pressed everything together, which was a fairly easy process. You can see on the bottom, I did go ahead and add these little wheels to be able to push it around. They do have some lock options on them so you can keep them still in one spot. Or you can honestly not even put the wheels on and there's a little bit of support on each of these sides so that it can lay flat on the ground as well. Just laying this down so that you can see it a little better on the top, there are two different cup holders, which could be used for something like pencils and pens and erasers, things like that. Or you can use it for your actual cup. And you can see the top can be used as a flat surface, whether you're using it for a small desk or to set something down on. Um, but you can also open this up and put things like your pencils and pens in there as well, or some other supplies that you might need. There is another little opening right over here that's identical on the other side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with some things that make sense for us. So we have this all the way set up in the living room here, and this is a lot of things that are gonna be really functional for us, but I love that this is something we could easily rotate the items that are inside out. And I love that because this is so easy to move, I can easily place this somewhere else or pull it around to the other side of the chair, for example. This fits a glass really nicely, so you can have your drink here. I did put a couple of things inside these containers. You can see we have some colored pencils with plenty of room for so much more in there. On this side over here, I have some scissors and some tape. Just things that I would want some easy access to. I did put a variety of items in here so you can see what would fit size-wise. I have a large notebook. I do have a standard size notebook. There's room for a few of them in this one slot. I have a one inch binder. And then right here I have three different kids books. And then I have an empty slot down at the bottom. If I turn this all the way around, you can see I have some just blank white paper at the top. And then I have some different magazines right here, but there's plenty of space to add more items in here that would be really useful as well. I also feel like this would be really useful to use with your schooling supplies, especially if you have multiple children so that each child can have one side of this setup so that they can fit all of their books and supplies in here nicely.